what's up everyone welcome back to brandy reed books and today i've got another journaling video for you so a few weeks ago i came back from staying at fort walton beach which is near the destin area it's like maybe a 10 minute drive away i went on a girls trip with the women in my family so there are two spreads as you can see here that i've already made the first one is just sort of a title page and then the second page is like a road trip spread. So for these pages, I knew that I would be using some um, paper cutouts from a clothing magazine, like a, a clothing catalog that I received in the mail where the models were filmed on a beach. And so I wanted to use those as sort of background images and in order to keep everything kind of consistent, I went ahead and just printed my Florida photos on regular computer paper with my inkjet printer. I didn't want the ripouts from that paper catalog to clash with nice glossy photos, so everything has a nice matte finish to it. So this first set of photos I took while on Fort Walton Beach. It's a nice long stretch of beach. You could easily walk for, you know, an hour. Our condo, the Surf Dweller condos, um, which you see a little bit of in my Florida vlog, which I can link above if you guys are interested in watching that. They were, I think, you know, a good 30, 40 minutes down from the boardwalk. If you're ever staying in the Fort Walton or Destin area, I definitely recommend Okaloosa Island. That's where we were staying. There's like a bazillion different condos to pick from. They're all beachfront. And then of course, like I said, the boardwalk is pretty much right there. There's a pier, it costs like two bucks and you can walk out over the water. Lots of restaurants. There's a really fun boutique in there where you can get beach clothes, swimsuits, sandals, all that fun stuff called Oasis on the Boardwalk and they actually have a coffee shop inside. So that's a great place to grab a coffee that's nearby in the morning. Also, if you get hungry for lunch or dinner and you're vegetarian like me, Al's Beach Club is a really great option because they have regular burgers, but they also have those Beyond Meat burgers as well as really yummy salads. And then we actually lucked out and they were playing live music when we were eating there. So you've got dinner and a show. The seashells, I actually picked up a brochure when we were at the Florida Welcome Center and it was all about collecting seashells, where to find them, you know, identifying them, all that fun stuff. So since I wanted a few little black and white details in there, I went ahead and just used my scanner on my printer to scan that sheet of seashells. Printed them out and then pasted them in. So the font that I'm copying here to write in some of my titles on these pages is from defont.com. I'll try to remember to link it below. It's called Beach Fly. And I just kind of eyeballed it. And then I think for the border on a lot of these photos, I was just, I think that was just a brown paper bag, or it may have been like tan colored tissue paper that I was cutting out um, to give some of those photos a border. It wasn't anything fancy, it was just kind of whatever I had on hand.
And then here I'm just using a blue micron pen to, you know, do a little description of our adventures that day. So I will link below the Etsy shop where my journal is from. If you guys have any questions um, about anything that you saw me use, leave them below in the comments. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.